Welcome, Safe Moon Army, to another Safe Moon Sunday. I'm John, the CEO of Safe Moon. And I'm Jack, the CEO of Safe Moon. Jack, what's coming up? We've got amazing news about the wallet. 
Um, I'm sure you're all waiting for that. We're also going to cover the last couple of days. We've covered the iOS beta and the Android beta. We've got a lot of information there. The feedback from the open beta has been nothing but fantastic. We'll be also diving into our favorite section, what the FUD, followed by community questions that we'll be answering. But first, we've got updates since the last Safe Moon Sunday. So let's have a run through those. We've had an amazing amount of feedback from the community regarding the Safe Moon wallet. Mm -hmm. We've also reached 1 million followers on Twitter. How does crypto's on the market right now? It's growing massively. Taking the world by storm. Gone absolutely bananas. Getting way more hype. Massive craze throughout the internet. Thousand percent growth. And it's been going viral. Safe moon. I'm John, I'm the CEO of SafeMoon. And I'm Jack, the CEO of SafeMoon. Thomas, SafeMoon's CTO. I'm Hank, Director of Software Engineering for SafeMoon. We are family, we are SafeMoon. Thank you for watching. Jack comes from a more of a social media background than me. How big of a deal is that? It's actually a really, really big deal. And let's be honest, it's over a million because we've got lots of yeah. platforms yeah. that support us. The oh, Safe yeah. Moon Army is amazing. We've got so many people that are constantly giving us feedback. That's what we're going to move on to with the wallet. It's also a great way to communicate with the, the Safe Moon Army in a it more is. structured manner. Of course, yeah. we have Discord, Telegram, and you know, you'll see me on there. Um, you'll see Jack on there. Um, but no, Twitter has been great. And I want to point out we were the first crypto to get verified on Twitter. Yes, yeah, a huge the deal. standard, the safe moon standard. Yeah. So and to see it come that far and then hit a million is amazing. It's fantastic. Anyway, on to our favorite section, what the FUD. Now I think this is honestly the most anticipated section of the yeah, week. That next to new news. It's really good because that's what we have feedback from the community. So yeah. Um, I'll let you take it from the top. All right. August 16th, I hear by dub the day of the Moby Dip. The Moby Dip. The Moby Dip. Yeah. Moby Dick is essentially gone. And that's pretty much it. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. uh, we don't know who the whales are. Um, We've and said that before, haven't we? With it? Many times. But, yeah. but for those of you who are good at math, for those of you who understand crypto a little bit more, I highly recommend you kind of explain the positives of no longer having a very large whale. Anyway, moving on. Mm -hmm. So version two is an upgrade of the SafeMoon contract. Basically, we wanted to improve on our already um, really good security. Yeah. We're gonna also undergo an audit on the security features. We wanna make sure it is locked tight. Absolutely. And then also improve on the quality and the accessibility. I mean, accessibility is probably one of the, the big ones. Security is probably number yeah. two. I think it's one of our main mission goals, isn't it? I don't know. Security and accessibility, you know? It's this ever... I mean, they go hand in hand. You yeah. don't want to have access to something that's not secure, but yeah, also yeah. you don't want to be locked out of something either. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The main focus is upgrading the security on it and the accessibility. You know, being with all the products that we have coming out this year, we want integrations to be much greater than what they could be with the current SafeMoon contract. Yeah, and we want to make it absolutely clear this is something to get really excited about. Uh, well, I mean, the community is. Yeah, yeah. They, they, you are. And you've got some fantastic questions, but we, we don't just want to kind of release it in drips and drabs. It really yeah. deserves its own line. I, I like feel like said. we just kind of, we put it into the, the what the FUD section, but I mean, it's, it's, there's not yeah, a whole lot of FUD around it. It's, it's more no, excitement. Exactly. It's Curiosity, what's going to be part of it? Well, yeah. what's, 
To answer your question, what's going to be part of it, we will do that in a future Saving Sunday. All right, Jack, there is FUD around partnerships. Yes, yeah. I think there's been, we've mentioned partnerships before and we've yeah. said, you know, I think our, we put some tweets out uh, earlier on in the week just stating that we, we have no affiliation uh, with anyone unless otherwise expressly stated yeah. by us. And I think that's a really important thing for you guys to remember, so we want to hit it home here. Usually when we have a partnership, it's accompanied by a, a cool video. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. no cool video or no tweet from Jack or I. It's not real. It's not. It's fake news. Yeah. There's no animosity uh, yeah. towards anyone in the crypto space in that sense. It's no. just we have a responsibility to our users. Yes. And also we'd like to think the community, you know, is responsible for each other too. They really help help each other out and it's about freedom of information. Yeah. And while we appreciate the enthusiasm from other projects, remember, if it doesn't come from Jack, I, or the official SafeMoon Twitter page, mm -hmm. it's not real. Yeah. To, to, to further that point as well, we are to reinforce the fact we're building an ecosystem. Yeah. So there are a lot of projects out there that, you know, they're, they're building their own things. We're, we're trying to do all of that in-house. That's the point. Yeah. And speaking of in-house, the SafeMoon Wallet open beta update. <laughs> 15 days in. Yep. Uh, we've had a lot of feedback and we had a lot of engagement and traffic to the website, which I'm sure Hank loved. Yeah, so Hank told me our like all-time high for website traffic based on unique IPs, so mm -hmm. actual users, was around 4.8 to 4.9 million. Yeah. So rounded up to 5 million. Yeah. So we doubled it in preparation for this beta launch. We got 15 million unique IPs. Yeah. I think in a span of three minutes. Three minutes, I think it was, yeah. Which then resulted in 30,000 Android open beta testers. Mm-hmm. Now, we were only planning for 10, but... It was the due to the 15 million, I, well, the over 15 million IPs, essentially, that we had a bit of a, a, bit, a bit of a bottleneck with the button, I think. Yeah. I think if, it's no different for digital. If you imagine 15, over 15 million people trying to press one button at yeah. the same time, yeah. it's basically what happens with the website. So, you know, we tried to be the one thing that Safe Moon Army couldn't crash, but the website, you know, it Too did what strong. it did. So a lot of people got through, but we're actually very happy about that because there's been amazing feedback. Yeah, the more minds, the better. Mm -hmm. 30,000 minds on Android, 10,000 minds on, on the iOS, and we've been able to receive massive amounts of feedback confirmed by thousands of people, mm -hmm. and then we fix those issues. Yeah. You know, we've had three pushes, three updates, uh, and we'll probably likely have some more additional updates. Yeah, a know? lot of it based off yeah. the feedback as well. You know, there were a couple of things we wanted to throw out that the internal team spotted, but it's been great suggestions that we've said, absolutely, we're gonna throw that into the updates. And uh, the feedback's been great on those as well. You guys are very happy to see what you discussed with us and shared with us that we yep. worked on yep. and pushed back out to you guys. Now, we're gonna go into some of those specifics. All right, Jack, mm -hmm. with large amounts of users all pressing a button at the same time, yeah. what you have is a back-end scaling issue. You do. What does that mean? So essentially it means that, you know, we tried to prep for the user traffic um, and all the essentially data that's being transferred between you guys and ourselves and also third parties. So what we did, you know, obviously it was meant to be the beta for the wallet. We also had our website betas, you know, by accident, yeah. but that's great. And we always welcome the feedback. Uh, so what we did, you know, was we scaled the back end. We had a couple of teams working on that. So we we're able to handle much more traffic. Much more. So, you know, Put it into perspective, we started off with an eight-lane highway and then quickly realized we needed a 15-lane highway. Yeah. But that wasn't enough. So now we installed essentially a, a, a traffic, you know... Almost like traffic lights. Traffic lights. Essentially for the data. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, no, it's, very, it's a very smart system yeah. that the team has come up with. Um, it's something that is widely used, I think, but we just weren't expecting to have to use it with you guys. Yeah. But it's a happy, happy accident and a great surprise, so... Yeah. So we've scaled the back end, we solved those issues and the bottlenecks. You know, but that's not the only piece of feedback we were looking for. Yeah, we wanted to solve the technical issues, but we also wanted to provide more quality and accessibility. And that's where the UI comes in. And the feedback was amazing. Yeah. You know, we wanted to provide what we thought and what we knew would be a good product. And a lot of people love the UI. But then in, you know, we checked Twitter, Reddit, Discord, mm -hmm. and we saw some, uh, some upgrades we could do. Yeah, there were some fantastic ideas in there. Yeah. We have a lot of creative people in the community. Yes. So it's not, I think we forget, you know, everybody has kind of different day jobs and different things going on. So a lot of people have put forward a lot of creative ideas. 
Not only are we improving on the UI, which is quality and accessibility, we also have a large focus on security. So far, we are very impressed with all the work the team has done and everything we've designed. But we're not happy there, are we? We always push the boundaries. So we're looking for increased security, like John said, and also constantly quality checking everything that comes through our fingers. Especially with you know, current events going on within the, uh, the token and crypto space. We pay heavy attention to those events. And we look at them and we take lessons from them so that we don't fall trapped to them. And on top of that, we also will be going under audits. Uh, and yes. in all reality, I'd love to do periodic audits yeah. um, throughout the year and throughout the development cycle. Yeah, it's something we discussed and we're absolutely gonna move forward with it. Yeah. It makes complete sense. I think it makes you know, us feel more comfortable, it makes everyone else feel more comfortable, and we're more than happy to share them as well with the community. Oh, yeah. And just quick, like, brief notes of some of the security features, biometrics, increased encryption, yeah. Uh, two-factor authentication. So we're going to be using a lot of industry standards, but building upon them. So you might have a vault door, but we're putting another vault door behind that. It is amazing to see our priorities align with the Safe Moon Army's priorities. The feedback we received regarding the charts was very, very useful and showed and confirmed what we already thought. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we were looking for simplicity in the charts. Uh, people also wanted a little bit more complexity, so we've taken that on board, we've added it in. It was something that we were looking at, and we're more yeah. than happy now that we've, we've put that out in an update. Beta testers are currently using it, and the feedback already has been spectacular. Yeah. Now to introduce one of our favorite features of the SafeMoon wallet, Swap by SafeMoon. Now Jack, what does Swap stand for? Swap stands for Send, Withdraw, and Purchase. Now we're integrating this into iOS, Android, and we also have a web swap. Right now, people are transacting on other services, and those yes. fees go to supporting third-party ecosystems. Exactly. Now, on Swap by SafeMoon, those transaction fees will go to supporting directly the SafeMoon ecosystem. Now, Jack, kind of break it down a little bit. So the transactional fees that will be on our swap, there is a 0.25% fee each time a swap takes place. Now, this is not just on the SafeMoon token. This is on any token that we list. If you've noticed, we've been taking requests for token listings. This will be every transaction that is performed on our swap on iOS, Android, or web. Out of that 0.25%, 0.17% goes back to the liquidity pool. 0.05% is used to maintain the SafeMoon ecosystem. And 0.03%, and this is the best part, goes into what we're calling a buyback and burn. Now what that means is every single transaction out of the fee, 0.03% is being taken and being used to purchase SafeMoon. Once that's done, we then send it to the burn wallet, and this is going to dramatically increase the burn rate, which as we know, is very good. In summary, every time there is a swap on Swap by SafeMoon, it is a purchase of SafeMoon. Now Jack, the feedback has been amazing. SafeMoon Army, keep it coming. The Zendesk email is available, and also please use hashtag SafeMoonWallet on Twitter when giving us feedback. Jack, now on to community questions. Yes, so we've pulled a great selection of your best questions and comments from Twitter, and we're gonna read a few of those out now. All right, the first one from Tom Popov. What is the reasoning behind releasing the exchange before the blockchain? Hashtag safe move. That's a good question. Um, it's honestly quality control, yep. quality checking. Yep. and making sure that we hit our, our launch goals in a certain manner. There's obviously quite a few reasons for what we do what we do. I, for the blockchain specifically though, not only you know talking about quality control, but also there are other pieces of technology and innovations that yeah. we are working on um, that we are waiting for them to hit a certain point and that's gonna show how it integrates into the SafeMoon blockchain. I, I that, talk that's about- a perfect description, yeah. I talk about Internet of Things all day long. One of my favorite terms is the macro level of Internet of Things. And so we're working on some technology where the SafeMoon blockchain will be a critical component. And we have to wait for those innovations to hit a certain point in order for us to know how to shape the blockchain a little bit further. Yeah. Hope that answers your question. Appreciate it, Tom Popov. All right, Jack. Next question comes from SafeMoon Spurs. Okay. I'll read it out. Thank you. Cool. Hi, Jack. Hello. Firstly, I hope everyone in the team are doing okay. Secondly, 
could you please sort this British weather? <laughs> no, I'm just going to stop it right there. Many have tried, Many but have everyone tried. has failed. We've all failed as a we nation. We've all failed. Our entire nation is developed around bad weather. You embrace it or you just, you're going to lose. It's what forges the Brits. It is, it is. <laughs> and then thirdly, version 2 release. Could you please advise what this actually is? Thank you. Well, we covered it already. Yes, we have, yeah. Um, you know, absolutely love your feedback. If you have any more questions, please throw them in and we'll answer them in the uh, in next Sequence Sunday. But I think we covered it quite well. But to summarize, yeah. it's an upgrade. This next one comes from Safe Moon Warrior. He said, update on the buy button if possible. It's a good question. Um, we, we, you know, we covered this in the last Safe Moon Sunday. It's really important that we stay and fit into regulatory standards. Compliance. Compliance is key. Uh, so we're working through that constantly. You guys know we are moving very quickly. We've had some fantastic news in this Safe Moon Sunday. Fantastic news in the previous one. We've got a lot coming up. The buy button is something we are absolutely caning to get done. So for you Americans out there, caning means moving fast. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving fast. Moving fast. Yes. Moving fast. Uh, four Funky Strings said, will the hashtag safe card be a reality? We're always moving. Well, short answer is yes. Yes. We're always moving to bring it as soon as possible. We've mentioned, I think a couple of times previously, absolutely. It's just taking it back to the buy button and compliance. regulatory and compliance. Compliance. That's the only hold up there. Yep. All right, Jack. Mm -hmm. Seed and a string of numbers uh, said if the Safe Moon calculator and wallet will continue getting updates after the release, the calculator needs a lot of work. In my opinion, looks a bit horrible. Can't lie. Iterate, iterate, iterate. Yep. We get feedback. We iterate. We get more feedback. We iterate. Can't express that anymore. Yeah. This next one comes from Zachary Crypto. Mm -hmm. He said, "How are the offices in Utah coming together? Safe Moon coming to my state?" Crazy. I'm just going to give a little, little emphasis bit of on emphasis that. On that. Yeah. Uh, hashtag safe moon, hashtag safe moon wallet. Well, first off, Utah is one of the fastest growing tech zones, areas, also known as Silicon Slopes, mm -hmm. in the US right now. So we'll be filled or, you know, surrounded by uh, potential employees, potential employees, potential partners. Um, I think it's also great to have an office in an area which is completely used to developing tech and innovating. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it's a, I think it's a win-win situation. Yeah. And on top of that, we're not just looking for property. We're looking for the Safe Moon Global Home. We have a few architects and building owners right now submitting proposals, and we will choose the best out of the, the few that we're talking to right now. So, yes, we're coming to Utah. This next question comes from Novus Crypto One. They said, so the exchange is coming before the blockchain. Is that going to cause any issues or difficulty in the future? No. No. The following question is, listings will be paired with the SafeMoon token, but then presumably, two months later, we are a coin? Explain, please. It deserves its own moment. Absolutely. The next question, Jack, is from Bionic Martian. They said, hello, Dash. Do you see a conversion taking place in the near future when the token becomes a coin? If so, why and are what ratio? Thank you. I think similar answer to the previous question. It will get its own moment. This next question comes from Daviel100. Please give us an update on the Gambia and Project Phoenix. They spelled it right. They spelled it right. I love that. What is the ultimate goal? So there's these things called NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, and I won't violate mine. Now, when I have permission to talk further, I will. But in December, during its own key moment, you will get all the information you want and need regarding Operation Phoenix and what we have been doing in the Gambia. Next question comes from Bullish Ant Davis. Good name. Good name. Uh, they said, what marketing campaigns are planned for SafeMoon? We need to reach out to people. I think to start off, we are seriously one of the most viral cryptocurrencies in the world. So we definitely reach a lot of people. And one thing I will say, um, if you want a little bit of a hint towards our marketing campaigns, is SafeMoon full wallet launch, August 28th. So there's some things going on. The next question comes from Investors1000. They said, Jack, are your timelines on products too ambitious? I'm worried it'll affect quality. First of all, uh, they're definitely not just my timelines. No. 
these, these timelines, these launch goals are communicated to everyone inside of SafeMoon and they really, you know, we, we ask people information, we see how things are getting on and we really work together to collaborate on a launch goal. Um, I don't think they're too ambitious at all. You know, if you ask some people in the community, they might say not ambitious enough. Yeah. We think it's just right. Um, you know, we're never, ever, ever going to affect quality. I can't stress that anymore. We say it all the time, we'll continue to say it. Quality is of utmost importance to us. Quality, safety, accessibility. Exactly. The next question comes from Arjuna and Nick. They said, I can't wait for people to truly realize that SafeMoon are the good guys. I appreciate those kind of words. Yeah, we strive for quality, safety, and accessibility. You know, SafeMoon is for all, and we're, we're striving to that every day. They also said, they must have so much patience to not shout a massive, they use a, a, a mean word, you to FUDders. We look at FUD as an opportunity to, to educate. Yeah. And if they're just trolling, it is what it is. Um, they also stated, I'm livid when I see it and it's not even my project slash baby. You slash our time is not. Hashtag SafeMoon, hashtag SafeMoon wallet, hashtag SafeMoon blockchain. You know, FUD usually comes from, I mean, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That's kind of the point. It's a lack of education. It's a lack of education. It's yeah. a lack of knowledge, you yeah. know, which, you know, with some research and community members banding together, they're able to educate. But some people just want to FUD. Yeah. And I think, you know, they've got a really good point. It, it can be frustrating yes. spending a lot of time just trying to perhaps, you know, deal with uh, people who are trolling, like you said, and, you know, it might seem pointless to others, but we, we have the attention and the care yeah. to do it. We, we don't have a problem. We're all about educating, like yeah. you said, that's, that's all we want to do. Yeah. So I think when it comes to comments like this, we, we do really appreciate them. You know, it's not that it's not frustrating sometimes, because it can be. You know, you guys are part of the community. You've seen some of the things that we've had to deal with, but we never hate it. There's no animosity. You know, we appreciate the comments. Our last question, Jack, comes from Flowers Powers. They said, shout out to the Safe Moon Discord for being so nice. Honestly, I feel a bit better right now. It's the little things. That's great. I, I'm going to take this moment to thank the people who spend every day, you know, their free time to make Discord a great place. That's the Safe Moon community managers and moderators. Special shout out to you. Thank you. And Jack, that's a wrap on community questions. It is. And thank you so much to everyone that submitted them. We're excited to read more on the next Safe Moon Sunday and answer the questions that you might have. And if you do have any more questions, please submit them ready for next Safe Moon Sunday on Twitter using the hashtag Safe Moon Sunday. We covered a lot during this Safe Moon Sunday. Yes, we did. We covered the wallet launch on the 28th of August. Very excited about that. Six days to go. Six days to go. We covered the key features of the wallet. The next Safe Moon Sundays will be on the 5th of September and the 19th of September. Excited for those. Also in September, version two of the Safe Moon token. However, that'll deserve its own key moment where we will go in to more specifics. Remember, it's an upgrade with a focus on safety, quality, and accessibility. Jack, this has been a great Safe Moon Sunday. Yes, it has. We have a very busy couple weeks the next one. I'm John Caroni. I'm the CEO of SafeMoon. And I'm Jack Haynes, the CEO of SafeMoon. We are SafeMoon. We are family. Thank you for watching.